Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be channeling my inner Indiana Jones and with a bit of barn find as well. We are in one of the underground facilities at Gordon Murray Automotive's headquarters and I've come to find this fellow. Now those of you who've watched all our T50 films will be intimately aware of George, our Ultima Mule. For those of you that haven't watched the films, I suggest you do. But let's have a look. I haven't seen George since Goodwood last year. A bit dusty, a bit dirty. So George was the mule for T50, based on an Ultima kit car, a really important part of our company's history. This was the first vehicle to run the beautiful 3.9 litre V12 that Cosworth made for us. He was built during lockdown with COVID and it allowed us to get ahead of the game with some parts that we couldn't actually do until the T50 tubs showed up. So George allowed us to learn a lot about things like heat management, drivability of the engine, the ISG, the integrated starter generator, this was the first car to use that. And so we just, we, we started to develop those things ahead of time. So when T50 was ready to go, we had a head start on it. And this car has the same fuel system and oil system that T50 uses now. I remember well the first time I drove this car and uh, JP from Cosworth and I were sitting here. JP's a big guy, I was over there and uh, we're on the bowl at Millbrook. And the first time I hit 12,000 RPM, <laughs> the engine was in this, and we just started laughing. Um, totally unprofessional of us, but that was the, the joy that this engine produces. And um, it's what convinced me to then go to Gordon and say, please, 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 can I buy a, a prototype? And um, luckily, he said yes. And um, yeah, so this car's got a lot to answer for. Like I said, we we're totally unprofessional. Let's have a look at some of the details of dear old George. Apart from the barn find uh, mess on it, but look, this is the very much like the snorkel that you see that's so beautifully molded in the T50, the whole induction system. We come back here, the exhaust system, the gearbox, it's all as ended up on T50. Obviously the radiator wasn't quite mounted in this position, it was a bit tighter as well, but you get, you get the idea. It's got the same carbon plenum and it, it really served a purpose. It's one, I think when I learned a little bit about the car business and that, you know, cars don't come out fully formed, there's a development process to go along. We come and have a look inside. So there's not much in here that you would recognise as T50. The clutch pedal. The clutch pedal is definitely from T50. As is the gear linkage. I know T50 is on the right side, but you get the idea of the gear linkage, the reverse lockout. But everything else was just built for a purpose. And uh, yeah. That is it. Kind of looks a bit like a little Group C racing car. T50s are now in production. T50S. Nikki Lauda is in development, as is T33. And that's why we're here. We're now going to get in the car and head up to Millbrook. I'm going to show you T33 Mule for the very first time. I'm going to get to drive it for the first time too. And you're going to ride along with me.
Welcome to Millbrook Proving Ground. Say hello to James, the first T33 mule. Now, unlike George with T50, James has got more than a passing resemblance to T33, but by the time this car comes to production, pretty much every panel on it will be subtly different. But being a mule car, for us, it's really about what's going on under the skin that we're interested in. And quite honestly, I want to go for a drive and find out what this T33 is like. So let's go. Cool. 